Obstetric and newborn providers should establish effective communication to better coordinate care. Before every birth, you should ask and know the answers to these four questions. Use the responses to determine if you have the necessary personnel and equipment. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, I called you here. We have a 38 weeker with um, uh, late D cells and a concerning strip. Okay. Um, you told me 38 oh. weeks, so there's a couple of things I need to know to help me prepare. Um, what was the amniotic fluid color? Oh, it was meconium. <laughs> okay. Is there any other risk factors we should be aware of? Well, mom spiked the temple a while ago, so we're calling her choreo. Okay. Um, what about our umbilical cord management plan? Is there any reason we could not do delayed cord clamping for this baby? There's no maternal contraindication, so we're willing to try 60 seconds, but I'll appreciate you helping us know if we need to clamp sooner than that. Team, we were called for a 38-week infant. The amniotic fluid is meconium. The baby is having D-cells, and the mom has choreo. We will attempt delayed cord clamping. Jamie, I'd like for you to be head of bed, manage the airway, and listen early for a heart rate. Okay. Suzanne, I'd like for you to be ready to help start positive pressure ventilation if needed. Okay. Corey, I'd like for you to start drying and stimulating the baby on mom if needed. Um, bring the baby over to the bed and place a pulse ox on, and also be ready to do chest compressions if needed. Vanessa, can you please be our recorder and be ready to drop any medications if needed? All supplies and equipment necessary for a complete resuscitation must be readily available for every birth. A general list of items to prepare is available from NRP called the Quick Equipment Checklist. You should be familiar with the location and use of all the supplies and equipment in your work area. Hey, baby's out! Oh. Time started. Oh. Okay, I don't see, I don't see good tone and respiratory effort, but let's go ahead and continue with drying and what? stimulation. Um, some babies will take a few seconds to start breathing on their own, and as long as our placental circulation is intact, the baby will be receiving some oxygen. 20 seconds. Okay, I'm still not seeing any effort. I think we need to go ahead and um, clamp the cord and bring the baby over to the warmer, please. I've seen the pulse ox on. All right, we're approaching a minute of life and we've been drying and stimulating the infant. I don't see any respiratory effort and I don't feel any rise and fall of the chest. Heart rate's less than 100. Okay, so the baby's not responding to our initial steps. So since the baby is apneic and the heart rate is less than 100, we need to proceed with positive pressure ventilation. Does everybody agree? I agree. I agree. Okay. Starting PPV. We've started PPV. I have the pulse ox on. ECG leads are available if needed. Ventilation of the newborn's lungs is the single most important and effective step in neonatal resuscitation. Thus, learning how to provide PPV is the foundation of neonatal resuscitation. Shown here is a setup of a flow inflating bag and a T-piece. Flow should be set at 10 liters. Starting oxygen concentration should be 21% for 35 weeks gestation or greater and between 21 and 30% for those less than 35 weeks. PEEP, when available on the device, should be set at 5 centimeters of water. Initial peak inspiratory pressure, PIP, should start between 20 and 25 centimeters of water. How will you know that you are providing effective ventilation? The most important indicator will be a rising heart rate. Heart rate should be on the rise after 15 seconds of effective PPV. If the heart rate is increasing, then continue PPV until you determine the baby no longer needs PPV. If the heart rate is not increasing, check for chest movement. Chest movement can be assessed visually or by gently feeling for a rise and fall of chest movement with your hand. If the chest is not moving, then take ventilation correction steps immediately until PPV is able to move the chest. Continue PPV that moves the chest for 30 seconds and then reassess heart rate. I'm not seeing any chest rise. I agree and the monitor is not showing that our heart rate is increasing. The heart rate is correct. Okay. I think we need to take corrective measures using Mr. Sopa, and let's go ahead and put a CO2 detector on our mask. Mr. Sopa is a mnemonic to remember the six ventilation correction steps to take when you determine that you are not providing effective ventilation. After each correction step, give five breaths of PPV to assess if ventilation has been corrected. M and R are for mask adjustment and reposition the airway. Make sure the mask fits properly and forms a good seal. Place the head in the sniffing position. S and O are for suction mouth and nose and open the mouth. Be sure the mouth stays open when you reapply the mask. P is for pressure increase. Increase PIP cautiously, but inflating the lungs may require higher inspiratory pressure initially. A is for alternative airway. 
place an endotracheal tube or laryngeal mask airway before proceeding further down the NRP algorithm. Okay, let's check the mask and reposition the head, please. Okay, I have the right size mask, but I'll adjust, get, make sure I have a good seal, and put the baby in a sniffing position. Okay, let's give that five breaths um, to see if it works. No. I'm not seeing any chest rise or color change and our heart rate is still not increasing. So let's go ahead and suction the mouth and nose and make sure the mouth stays open, please. Those are some thick secretions. I'll be sure that the mouth stays open. So continue ventilation. All right, the chest no. is not moving, no color change, and the heart rate is still not increasing. Um, let's go ahead and increase our pressures. Increasing the pressure. Okay, let's give five breaths. I am starting to see some chest rise now. Okay, we've established ventilation, so let's continue PPV. That's moving the chest for at least 30 seconds before we reassess our heart rate. Okay. Corey, could you please put on some EKG leads? Sure. 